Are you wasting your time lifting heavy? Or are those high rep pump chasers just chasing dreams? What if I told you both might actually be right, but only if you're not training like a circus act. Today, we're slicing through the bro science with cold hard studies to finally settle it. What builds more muscle, heavy weight or lightweight? Grab your gym bag. We're bringing the reps and the receipts. First, let's talk training intensity. Not the kind that makes you scream during curls, the kind exercise scientists actually measure. Point one, what is training intensity? Training intensity is the percent of your one rep max, one RM, you're lifting. 100% of your one RM, that's a try not to die single rep. 80%, you're grinding out six to eight reps before your soul leaves your body. 30%, you're doing cardio with dumbbells and questioning life. Here is a simple formula. Heavier weight equals fewer reps. Lighter weight equals more reps. But here's the twist. Both ends of that spectrum can build muscle. Well, before we jump on the lift heavier than your ego train, let's see what the science says about high reps and why pump chasers swear by them like it's a pre-workout religion. Point two. The high rep, lightweight argument. Light weights plus high reps leads to more metabolic stress, aka the deep burn, lactate buildup, and help my arms are melting sensation. This hits your slow twitch fibers hard. The ones that are made for endurance and love a good suffer fest. You'll feel pumped, swole, and temporarily fooled into thinking you just gained three pounds of lean mass. Spoiler, most of it's blood, not biceps. But here's the part that actually matters. Science says high reps can build just as much muscle as low reps, if you go to complete failure. That's not, oh, I could have done two more. That's, I'm seeing stars, coach. So yes, lightweight can work, but it comes with a side of suffering. Let's talk about what makes it harder than it looks. Point three, the downside of high reps. To make lightweight effective, you need to hit that deep, painful failure zone. And I mean the kind of failure where your ancestors start whispering, give up, bro. Problem is, most people stop way before failure. Form turns into flailing. And by rep 27, you're basically speed bouncing the dumbbells like you're in a CrossFit nightmare. Let's be honest, high rep sets are mentally and physically draining. Doing five sets of 30 reps on leg extensions is how villains are made. It's not bad, it's just hard to do right, consistently. Now swing the pendulum, heavy weights, low reps, brutal power, maximum intensity. Is this the real hypertrophy hack or just a one-way trip to Snap City? Point four, the low rep, heavy weight advantage. Heavy weights create mechanical tension, a fancy phrase for your muscles are being brutally forced to adapt or snap. This activates your fast twitch fibers, the jacked explosive ones. The ones that make sprinters look like action figures. And here's the kicker. Fast twitch fibers have the highest potential for growth. So yes, lifting heavy is great for muscle building and strength. But one to two reps per set? Terrible for hypertrophy. Form breakdown with heavy weights? Recipe for disaster? Isolation exercises with one RMs? Why are you trying to barbell curl 135? Who hurt you? Use your brain. Lift heavy. But don't be reckless. So what do we do? Train light and suffer. Go heavy and risk injury. Or is there a third option where gains and sanity can coexist? Point five, the science-based sweet spot. Here's the truth bomb. All rep ranges build muscle. If you're training close to failure, your form is solid. Volume is high enough over time. Each range has its perks. High reps lead to more metabolic stress. Moderate reps is the best balance. Low reps have both mechanical tension plus strength carryover. Studies consistently show that combining these rep ranges leads to greater hypertrophy over time than sticking to just one. It's like using different tools in your toolbox instead of trying to fix everything with a sledgehammer. All right, science lecture over. Let's get actionable. How do you take all this knowledge and actually apply it in your workouts Point six, the practical blueprint, AKA how to actually train smarter. Option one, 
Periodization, goat level strategy, cycle through phases, three to five reps, heavy, six to eight reps, moderate, 12 to 15 plus reps, high, rotate every three to four weeks. Not only does this keep your body adapting, it keeps your joints and brain from exploding. Option two, mix and match rep ranges every week. Great for lifters who like variety. Try this, start your workout with a heavy compound, three to five reps, follow with moderate sets, six to 12 reps. Finish with high rep isolation, 15 plus reps. The result, you hit all growth signals, tension, fatigue, pump, strength and density. Option three, for older lifters or the aches and pains crew. Avoid low rep danger zones. Structure, 0% heavy, 60% moderate, 40% high rep isolation. It's joint friendly and still maximizes hypertrophy, especially since you're more consistent when you're not injured. Point seven, bonus, strength versus size. Let's clear this up once and for all. Strength does not equal more size. You can be strong and more gains. So training heavy helps your high rep sets too. It's all connected. You don't have to choose strength or size. You can train smart and build both. So now that we've officially body bagged the light versus heavy debate with science and sarcasm, let's land this plane. Final takeaway, you don't have to pick a side. You're not in a Marvel movie. You can be team light and team heavy. Use all rep ranges, train close to failure. Lift smart, not just heavy. Mixing rep ranges is your secret weapon. It's how you stimulate every growth pathway your body has. Lift heavy, pump light, grow smart. If this video flexed your brain as much as your biceps, smash that like button like it owes you gains. Subscribe if you want more no BS science fueled fitness breakdowns that help you lift with logic, not just emotion. And drop a comment. Are you team heavy, team light, or team my elbows hurt, but I'm still coming back tomorrow. Catch you in the next one. Until then, train hard, train smart, and remember, your muscles don't care how cool you look lifting. They care how smart you train.